Crowd calling for more action. Valuev in the blue, Holofield all in red. There's the hook and there's the infighting and there's the clinching. You know, I mentioned earlier that I thought the hook might be there for Holofield. It's there in a surprisingly easy way early in this fight. Can he hurt um, Valuev with it? I don't know, but if he keeps landing it, it's going to keep scoring points. Yeah, he got inside. You know, he's not going to walk down the Russian, but he's got to get inside and do a little work because he, the reach is a mismatch. The height and Balouf, again, just pawing with the jab, should be drilling it and controlling distance, controlling this fight that way. This is probably the first time many of the American fans that are watching this broadcast the first time they've seen Valuev. He has not been shown that much in the United States. Uh, and if you're watching him for the first time, this is not Valuev at his best. When he's at his best, he's a technician throwing more punches. You saw in those highlight reels. Yeah. This is the Valuev that is the kind that gives a fighter like Evander Holyfield a chance to win this fight. I agree with you. I mean, the way he went after Monty Barrett, I mean, he just gave away two rounds for Lua did. Absolutely. Sold out house in Zurich, Switzerland. Appreciative, but wanting beautiful more. There's work, Tommy man. Brooks. How you feel, boss? Fantastic, man. Hey, that's beautiful work. I got you off, man. That was excellent. That was excellent. He's hey, look. The stay with, stay with just what you're doing, boss. Working beautiful, man. Now, remember now, he's bringing his left hand back low so you can time that right hand. But once you throw that right hand, throw something behind it. Yeah. Beautiful You're work. Asking, man. You're sticking with a plan. Beautiful work. Keep scoring points, homie. Oh, go ahead. Hey, your head, stay ahead. Yeah, the plan is, uh, you know, it's a sparring, so I'm hitting the speed. I'm hitting the bag because nothing's coming back. So he hasn't been pressed, uh, Holofield, to change anything, Al. Yeah, and there, there is no offense coming from Valuev. Clearly, Valuev, from his perspective, needs to throw, start throwing well, something. I don't get it. I just don't get it. You know, Holofield's not within range now. That's clear. He's just using the ring. And <laughs> Of course, when you're seven feet tall, <laughs> a guy always... should almost <laughs> always be in the range, shouldn't he? Right. With about an 82-foot reach. <laughs> <laughs> Now Valuev trying to close the gap a little bit. Holofield, first punch he's thrown this round. It didn't land. Valuev almost looks like he's waiting to counter. Now he tries to let his hands go a little bit. But it's frustrating to watch this giant. You know, the other, the other interesting thing is, and here's Holyfield at age 46, giving consistent lateral movement to Valuev, and that seems to be an issue for uh, Nikolai and Holyfield all he needs to do is just give him a lateral movement and occasionally throw some punches right now. Follow up with the jab. Single shots from him, if at all. Nothing on his punches either. I know he's a big man, he could get a little leverage and punch him down on you. Could take it out of you a little bit, but he hasn't thrown one punch with conviction, Al, the champion. Very disappointing here in the third round of a scheduled 12-round championship fight. And it's not as if Holyfield has been super active either, but what he has done is done things like that. Picked his shots, thrown the right hand that Tommy Brooks asked for over the low left of Valuev. There's been an occasional left hook mixed in as well by Holyfield. Gosh, the crowd in Switzerland just loving every movement, any kind of offensive flicker from Evander Holofield. Well, honestly, who among them, you know, I'm sure there's some, there are Valua fans, and clearly he's a, a fighter with uh, uh, support in Europe, but Evander Holofield at age 46 to them is quite a story. That's the emotional attachment. Sure. I agree, Al. Oh, boy, this is a round neither guy has done, I think. I would have it 9-9. Nine, nine. Well, I, but I'd give can't. it to Holyfield because he landed a couple of punches. Blue has landed nothing. So you almost 
have to give Holyfield a round from the couple of punches that he landed unless something changes yeah. here in the interim. It's a 10-point must, as you all know, unified rules of boxing. You could make it an even round, certainly. 9-9, <laughs> nine, nine, I don't know. That was cool. Uh, well, it's impossible. <laughs> Although, maybe uh, accurate. <laughs> that was a body punch by Holyfield. I, I have seldom seen a three-round period, even in the heavyweight division, in yes. which both heavyweights have thrown such few number of punches. And we've had a few fights this year, like the Abragamov klitschko fight and a few other heavyweight fights that have been very low in action. This one, though, is so far down the totem pole. Tired and tedious so far. Crowd in Zurich, though, happy to be ringside. Or in the rafters watching this one. <laughs> Now the same message. Here we see it, Al. There's the right hand by Holyfield. He kind of cranks the left hook off the chest of Voluev. That was the one moment, literally, of that round that had any action in it. So I don't know if that's enough for someone to give Evander Holyfield a round, but this gentleman, the first Russian to win any version of the World Heavyweight Championship, yes, um, not covering himself with glory so far. You know, just from body language in the corner of Balouev, they want him to, it's like, take these shots on the gloves and forearms, but why shouldn't he just be first? Now he's trying, flicks the jab. He's got Holofield in the corner and easily lets Holofield dictate, you know, the pace and range of this fight, Al. And Baluev could be doing all of that with his jab, controlling the pace, the range, and the fight. We he kept the Vander at the end of it. We mentioned uh, at the outset of this broadcast that how Valuev throws the jab in the first couple rounds will give us an indication of how he's going to fight. If he was throwing it with conviction, it would show us that he, the fight's going to be that way. He's not done it that way. Gee, he's sleepwalking. Every jab is thrown tentatively without any conviction, and that's why nothing's coming from him in this fight. And Holofield isn't showing me he could fight. No. He's, he's showing me he's, he, he isn't. He's not throwing many punches at all, if any. He just throws enough to land an occasional big punch. In this round, I don't think Evander's thrown a punch yet. A little flurry inside. He'll go inside, single, maybe two shots. Baluev can't find him with a range finder of a jab. There, Baluev doubles a jab, but nothing on that right hand. Baluev is not an inside fighter. He'll hold whenever the fighter's inside. He doesn't want to fight. And really, that's the place where he should be using that uppercut. Absolutely, Al. Referee Luis Cabon from Puerto Rico, the judges from Sweden, Italy, and Panama. And Holyfield does not want to use a lot of jabs because he's worried about being countered by the right hand. He's thrown literally almost no jabs in this fight, Holyfield. Yeah, right. And he hasn't had to fight fast. I, you know, I was saying, yeah, punch and move, punch and move. but. With nothing coming at him, he's done just a little bit of work inside like that, and it's winning every round for him. And the intriguing thing is, it's the 46-year-old who's throwing more combinations, even though there are not too many. There's the uppercut by Valuev. That's the one punch that could spell disaster for Evander Holyfield. Al, I can't answer the question, but I could speculate I could just ask it is how can Baluev think he's winning this fight, winning any rounds when he's so inactive? It's just, it's incomprehensible to me why he hasn't gotten going here in the fourth round. And, it, and the, the actual volume of punches is so low. It's not as if he's just missing. It's that there have been so few of them. And it'd be hard pressed to give him this round, Baluev, because Holyfield had a couple of effective moments. I don't think he's 